Hey guys, here's another magic trick for video for you. Um, the last one got a lot of views in under a day, so that was good. Thanks for the likes and views. But today I have another one, two magic tricks for you. And for this one, or let me show you the magic trick first. Okay, ready? Okay, so the top card is the Jack of Spades. I'm going to take the top card, put it in the middle, turn it, and it's an abracadabra. It turns into the tennis spades. You want to see it again? Okay, for this trick, all you need to do, there's no setup or gimmick cards, like always. Um, um, but when you start off, you do need to do a double lift when there's two cards. You do need to do a double lift, and you go ahead, take the double lift, put both cards into the middle, go ahead and show them that the jack of spades is going into the middle, so now it's in the middle, and now you're just going to, here, let me show you this, you're just going to actually um, move the jack of spades into the middle. Um, here's, what it, here's what it looks like in um, faster motion. Hold on. Here's what it looks like in faster motion. Um, so you got you got the double lift, put it in, okay, and then when you slide it in there, so now the jack of spades is now in the middle. You are actually going to take the ten of spades. You are going to turn it, and then push it. Sorry about that. Push it out, and then it turns into the ten of spades. Great, but easy card trick. Now, for the second one, I know I say I hate the setups and stuff, but this trick needs a setup. You can actually do any uh, four cards you want. Um, I think I think like the eight, seven, six, those are the easiest. So go ahead, get all your eight cards out. There they are, and um. Go ahead and um here let me show you uh no I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you how to do it first. Okay, so first you're easy enough, just put one of the eights on top, okay? Then you're gonna go to the ninth or tenth position. I like the tenth. It's kinda easier to remember. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just minus that, so your card is in the 10th position, and now you have another 8 in the 10th position. Let's just make sure that's right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, then you're going to flip your deck over. This is all before you go up to your spectator, by the way. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, and in the eighth and ninth position, you're gonna put your eights. But if you were doing other cards like the seven, it would be in the seventh and eighth. Um, it can be in any position though. Just make sure the first the first time you put your card down, it's that number, okay? So now you have your setup. So then you walk up to your spectator and say, well, "I'm just gonna do a little magic check for you," and then you say, "Okay." But this magic trick involves me picking a prediction card for you, okay? I'm not going to look at the cards, but I'm going to pick a prediction for you. Um, you just, um, you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you get a little pinky break on it. One, and then you can like, blah, blah, blah. And then you go back to that card, which is the 8. And put it down and say, okay, that is my prediction for you. But you don't show them. You don't show them. You just say, okay, this is my prediction for you. Then, can you see this? Then you say, um, now, um, I, um, and then you flip the deck over. Say, okay, now I'm just going to put some cards down, okay, and you can tell me when to stop. But you have to make sure you put the two eights down. If you don't put the two eights down, it 
won't work. The magic trick won't work. So just stall time, and then once you pass the eight, you can say, okay, now I am. You can tell me when to stop putting cards down at any random time, okay? And let's say they say stop, okay? And you just turn that deck over like that with the eight of spades, eight of clubs on top, but they won't know that. And you turn this deck over as well. And remember, in the eighth and ninth position, you, the eights are right there, and you have an eight right here. Then you just tell the spectator to pick a deck. If they pick this deck with the eight on top, you just say, okay, whatever card is on top, you will pick from this deck. If they pick this deck, you will say, okay, we're going to need this deck, though. And then you just say, whatever card on this deck, we'll pick from this deck. So it's a win-win either way. You just say the same thing, pretty much. Let's say they pick this deck. It's an eight. So then you just say, okay, now I'm going to pick eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With the eight right there. And the eight right here. Then you just say, okay. Now, you have selected random times and random numbers. But... I'm going to need you to do one other thing for me. This is the magic part. I want you, you tell your spectator, I want you to rub this eight as hard as you can and then uh, r rapidly um, touch each card, okay? Then they rub it. That's just a little effect. And then they touch each card, blah, blah, blah. And you flip over the cards and they are all eights. I hope you like these tricks. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.